Vice President Dr. Mahmoudou Baumia says a recently launched digital property address system will transform the economic fortunes and leapfrog Ghana into the digital age. Responding to criticisms of the system and its cost, Dr. Baumia said the $2.5 million project has since generated 16.1 billion addresses for the whole country and will make location identification easy. He described the project as unique with value for money. Last month, President Ikufuado launched a national database system that provides the digital address for every landed property in Ghana. Basically, every 5x5 five five meter property has a unique digital address on the grid with region, district and postcode. The system comes with a national address registry to keep records of office and residential addresses of citizens. It also comes with open application programming interfaces to allow third-party application providers to integrate into the system to be able to translate and use the digital addresses to help facilitate transactions. However, the project since its launch has received several criticisms from a section of the public with some describing the cost as too expensive. Some even claim the application can be accessed for free on the Google platform. But Vice President Dr. Mahmoudou Baumia says the critics lack understanding of the operations of the project. The National Digital Property Addressing System is independent of Google and any other mapping tool. Google will not give you the postcode, the region, or the district for any particular location. For example, it will not give you a register of data of addresses for every user. Banks, for example, cannot confirm an address by going to Google Maps but they can do so through the National Digital Property Addressing System for registered users. It is very important that we distinguish the National Digital Property Addressing System from the applications that are developed to use the system. We should not confuse the system with the applications. Dr. Baumia said the $2.5 million investment into the project is the cheapest. It is worth noting that other companies bid as high as 170 million Ghana CDs for this project. In fact, one of the most credible international companies that participated put in a bid of over 38 million Ghana CDs. The National Digital Property Addressing System is therefore value for money. Countries such as the Ivory Coast, Nigeria and Mongolia are all implementing the National Digital Property Address System similar to Ghana and none has opted for a free Google or other existing free mapping application. In fact, from the prices quoted by the international main supplier of the digital address systems, all these countries have spent at least three times more than Ghana in their digital property addressing system. Dr. Baumia said the digital property address system will streamline addressing in Ghana because state institutions, including the NIA, Social Security and National Insurance Trust, the Driver and Vehicle Licensing Authority and other institutions that deal with public data would have to synchronize and use one database owned by Ghana Post.